Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Mano Destro 777, and we're back inside of Destiny here for your weekly reset video for Tuesday, October 11th. We're going to be going over all the endgame content that you can do in Destiny this week, so let's get to it. First of all, the Nightfall this week is going to feature the Undying Mind Nightfall Strike. The modifiers are going to feature Specialist, Fresh Troops, Match Game, airborne it's going to be featuring those guys so go check that out if you need a quick reminder specialist means that special weapon damage is favored fresh troops means that some enemy squads have been fortified with additional reinforcements match game means that enemy shields are resistant to all unmatched elemental damage as well as airborne players deal more damage while in the air i highly recommend bringing the dark drinker sword or lots of void weapons that you can use because most of the time you're going to be facing a lot of void enemies uh this is a great strike if you need to get the imago loop uh hand cannon it is a great strike for that uh because you're going to be able to use your skeleton keys and get that um you're it's essentially the fate bringer uh for year two guys so that is the nightfall this week let's go over everything else that you need to know this week again uh if you need to go and do some challenge of the elders to get some higher light level gear you can still do that the challenge of the elders still gives you some higher light level gear so the modifiers this week are brawler when fresh troops brawler essentially means that you have enhanced damage uh, when you are going up against enemies when you're using your melee attacks you can also get fresh troops and precision kill bonus uh, the modifiers and the bosses this week are Nurusk servant of Oryx for round one with the add-ons of cabal round two the overmind minotaur with the add-ons of vex for round two and then round three sididious mind with the add-ons of vex for round four so go check that out if you need some light, higher light level gear go pick up those bounties because you can still get higher light level gear and stuff from the challenge of the elders you can also do the prison of the elders for your sterling treasure package if you're looking to get that taken care of in addition we can go ahead and check out the weekly crucible the weekly crucible for this week is going to feature inferno supremacy which is essentially supremacy but without a radar uh, defeat your opponents and take their crests with no trackers and then doubles doubles is back small team tactics kill the enemy revive teammates this is going to be a really fun game type for those pvpers who are looking for an additional challenge it's a very cool challenge to do get those legendary marks check those out life will be good in addition we're going to feature the uh, Siva Crisis Heroic. We are going to have our uh, Siva Crisis Heroic. Uh, this is where you're going to get your Radiant Treasure as well as Legendary Engrams as well as Legendary Marks. The modifiers are going to be Heroic, Solar Burn, Small Arms, and Chaff. Chaff essentially means that you're not going to have a Radar. Small Arms means that Primary Weapon Damage is favored and Solar Burn is going to be good for that. We're going to go to two places this week to check things out. We're going to talk about what Lord Shax has for us uh, for the weekly bounty for the crucible and we're going to be going over and checking out all the different things that you can pick up from Tyra Karn and the people in the uh, uh, at Fellwinter Peak. In addition if you want to find out a little bit more information about some of the older stuff about some of the older activities that you can do um, let's see we can actually take a look at the daily story mission the daily story mission is the enemy of my enemy in addition uh that is going to feature if you're going into say for example i don't know like the old uh the old king's fall raid we are going to feature this week we're going to have the golgoroth challenge if you're interested in checking that out golgoroth challenge essentially means that you uh, have to have everyone in your fire team take the damage not too tricky but again who's going to be running king's fall when you have wrath of the machine that you can go check out so make sure you go check that out uh when you are uh doing that if you're interested in doing king's fall i mean there isn't too many people who are doing that anymore but if you are interested check out my twitch live streams uh, you can find out some information about how to do that there come stop by all the information is down in the description box below lord shax's weekly crucible bounty this week is going to feature clash match type so it doesn't quite line up with uh what's going on in the weekly 
uh, the weekly crucible stuff so that's kind of interesting but um, you know it's one of those things that you can check out you can get some clash games in and things like that we do miss iron banner iron banner was last week I hope you got some amazing weapons and things like that if you have not uh, you should definitely check out iron banner there were a lot of people who maybe skipped out on iron banner who's just decided to focus on trials or things like that and I highly recommend doing the new Iron Banner you get lots of new weapons there's lots of new ways to do things uh, but we covered that last week Iron Banner will return in probably about a month the next thing on the horizon this week for us is next week is going to feature what the hard mode of Wrath of the Machine It is gonna come out on Tuesday October 18th which is essentially the reset next week um, it's going to be featured, I believe, at the usual starting time for when Bungie usually releases raids and things like that. It's going to be 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Um, it's not going to drop right at reset, I don't believe, because I think they're going to do the Twitch race that they usually do. So, yeah, one of those things that you just need to check out when you are doing that. So, dropping into Fell Winter Peak now, let's take a look at the things that Shiro has as well as Tyra Karn. We're going to go over here and talk to Shiro and see what he has for us when we are in the Archon's Forge and things like that. You can, this is where you're going to get your Thorn Bounties. We've got Use the Iron Battle Axe, Defeat Fallen, so pretty easy this week. Complete Dragon Encounters in the Archon's Forge and Complete Servitor's Encounters in the Archon's Forge. So, some pretty easy things that you can knock out. We're going to go talk to Tyra Karn for our last thing this week and we'll go from there. So, climb that mountain top. Again, if you need help in doing the Wrath of the Machine, or if you need some help in doing the raids, you definitely want to check out my Twitch live streams. Again, all the information is down in the description box below. We have the Memory of Yolder, which removes the sprint cooldown penalty with a very excellent roll. Intellect Strength, uh, the old Memory of Yolder artifact that was sold on week one, was actually a pretty bad roll. I think it was like a 78% roll. This is a significantly better roll for your Memory of Yolder, so you definitely want to pick that up. Memory of Silmar with Dis Discipline and strength and the crucible resistance to damage over time attacks is greatly increased. Again, that's a very nice roll as well. As well as the memory of scory when your super is full, nearby allies' supers recharge faster. But that does not a very good roll this week with a strength roll of 100. So these are going to be your two best rolls here memory of Yolder and Silmar. Again, highly recommend memory of Yolder, especially that roll is going to be very good this week. So check that out. Make sure that you attune it and do everything else like that, and life will be good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That's going to do it for our weekly reset video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, if you feel like this video had something great to offer or you enjoyed it, a uh, positive rating would be greatly appreciated. Uh, hit that subscribe button for more Destiny content and more Rise of Iron content. We're going to be covering over more information and doing some weapons reviews, especially over some new uh, Iron Banner weapons and things that I picked up this last week. So go check that out. And uh, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time in the universe of destiny.